welcome to Grace and Lottie's. Eliza Beth here going to be looking at some new pencils that I picked up. I've already done an unboxing video of these, so this is going to be the deep dive of these pencils. I'm excited to get to jump into them because I've had them now for a couple of days, and today's the first day I could record, and I wanted to record the intro part of this video having not done anything with them, so I have been chomping at the bit to get to actually like put these on paper and haven't gotten to do that yet. And today's pencils are the Arteza Pro Colored, Pro Series Colored Pencils. And I like, I'm really curious about these because they've had an Expert Series for a while. Um, and that one comes with 120. This is the Professional Series. You know, just a little, it's supposed to be a little bit higher if you look at the way they've got them set. Um, although some of their methodology has me a little bit confused, but we'll get into that. I am going to be using these um, to be compared to Prismacolors because if they're claiming they're professional grade pencils, I figure that Prismacolors is kind of a good baseline for that to help figure out where these sit. So when I do my test sheets, which I have my test sheets here, ready to go for the Arteza Pro Series. We'll be doing it with the Prismacolor Premier. Again, have not touched these to paper yet. I've even already, if you look, this is gonna be a little bit of a spoiler, got the swatch sheets ready for these as well. So I'm like, I'm really ready to be doing these. I've been like doing everything but getting to set these to paper. Let's just open them up again. This is where we're gonna see one of the weirder things with these pencils, is that they have one order up here, which looks like a pretty standard color order. This is what I would see with other artist pencils where they are set up with the white to black. White sometimes at the beginning, sometimes it's here at the end. Um, they have it at the beginning. That's, you know, personal preference, but we go through the yellows to oranges to reds, violets, blues, greens, kind of the earthy browns, because um, a lot of the ochres go in there too. That in the brown family, and then into the grays. Okay, that seems normal. Their light fastness is, feels like it's a little bit backwards to me for their chart in that they have one is extremely light fast, five is less light fast. Normally, <laughs> it goes the other way. So one is not that much, and five is like, you're awesome. So, but if you look at these, these look a whole lot like Mondo Llamas right here um, in their order. And it's like, you can kind of see they did like different little rainbow sets. So I'm going to be, for the swatch sheets that I created, I did them in the set, like the way they're in the box, and then the way they have them in the list. Now I had to come up with a new way to order it because both of these orders are both box orders because it's the order that's on the box and the order that they're in the box. So to describe them, I said the physical order is how they are sitting in the box when you get it, and then the list order is this order right here. <laughs> it's like, how do I word this one? It was a little bit strange. Now, if I look, this is where I, I thought that these looked a lot like Mondo Llamas. Um, the barrel on these is nice. It has the name, it has the number, and it has the light fastness on the pencil. I can actually turn it this way. Uh, it is cover like coated at the bottom. So Prisma colors are open core at the bottom. I kind of like it because you can see how well the pencils put together with those because Prisma colors sometimes have some issues. And you can see easily if it's in the middle of the barrel that way. This being coated hard to see, that lines up a lot with the way that uh, the Polychromos pencils are done right there from Faber-Castell. So it has a kind of a feel of that. It does say expert here that they're in the Pro Series. I am so confused with their namings for these. So is this the Expert? Is this the Pro? Not 100% for sure, because <laughs> it says Pro Series. And when you look on the back, they have Classic Premium Pro. So maybe they've just changed names on these. It's hard to tell. I got the 72 set. It was easy to see that this, where it was sitting. Anyway, it says Pro Series on it. Uh, they are four millimeter leads. That's probably why I feel like they feel a lot like the Mondo Llamas is because of that really big lead that's in there. Um, because uh, Mondo Llamas have that as well with them. Um, they have a good weight to the pencil. Let's pick up, we'll pick up a pretty pink right here, Fruit Punch. Um, it's a hair light for its size. I'm going to just say that. It's not I don't think it's gonna re it would have changed hand fatigued it for these to have a little more heft to them when you're especially when you're putting in pressure. But 
I think they'll work fine. I don't think it's enough to matter that much. Um, the names on them are pretty good. I like them. They're very descriptive, more so than like in Prismacolor, you're not having, you know, um, your Blue Lake, um, Cadmium Orange, those types of names. It's more descriptive with them. Right here, you've got Coral, Marmalade, Orange, Turmeric, Tuscan Sun. So you see a lot of fun names with these. They're descriptive. I have a question, though, real quick. If you have these sets and you are in the UK, because I've been wondering this one. It says Eggplant Purple. Is yours Aubergine? I'm very, very curious if they, if they changed the names or if they kept them the same. So let me know in the comments down below if you are uh, in the UK, or I think Australia may say Aubergine as well. Curious. Um, if yours says aubergine, because <laughs> I actually adore the word aubergine. So, um, anyway, for eggplant. So let me know down there. So with that being said, I am now going to get to work with these and I'm going to see how they feel. And I will be coming back to you guys with some more thoughts in a few minutes. <laughs> are done and I thought I would show these before I move them. I'm getting ready to switch the order over to the other order that's in here in this list that's up at the top that I think will be a much more usable order. You can see by the swatch sheet this is a little bit all over the place. It reminds me of when I did the pranks in the crazy arts that it just gets a little bit muddy trying to see what's going on with these pencils. I also thought I would show you guys why these gave me, especially like right here, this one, the Mandalama vibes. I mean, you can kind of <laughs> they feel very similar looking, even at like the sharpen, sharpenings and everything. It's like, wow, they, they just have that kind of vibe about them. So while these have a better um, selection because this one's taken up, it has a bunch of metallics. It has 12 metallics and it's 72, so it only has 60 pencils plus a bunch of browns. It's a very interesting set to work with not the best color distribution. So this one I really do feel will have a much better color distribution when it's easier to see. Right now it's a little bit all over the place. So let's get to putting these in the correct order. Watching is done. That took a minute to get this done. The more I've done research and working with these, the more I'm realizing that I got an older box. I'm a little bit bummed about that because I wanted like obviously the newest one. I also found out there's a bigger set and I always like getting the largest set. So feeling a little bit bummed 
that I got what I got, but we'll be working with what I have here. Got the gradients as well. All of these will be available over in the Etsy shop if you want them. I'll also get a 120 put together uh, for it so that you have all of the counts. This is the Pro Premium Series. Like these are the Expert Series. It's a little confusing on these because they say Expert on the pencil right there. My box says pro, we're figuring it out. There are expert, there are open stocks. So it's a little different than what I thought originally with these. Now the one thing that I've worked with these for a little bit, they smell, they do not smell good. These pencils kind of stink. And I had a friend smell them too, so I knew it's not just me and she agreed that yeah, these have a smell. So know that going into it, I'm a little bit like, I have had these for now because I had to take a break. For, and you'll see why in just a second. They've been in my house for over a month and they still smell. So <laughs> not just, it's taken a minute for it to air out. Now the reason why I had to take a break for a little bit is I was getting something together for a good comparison. So I put this together, these are geraniums from my yard and I did one in Prismacolor right here. And I think it turned out really well. I'm doing it on Tone Tan. I think Tone Tan typically with color pencil, really allows it to come to life. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see some of the detail because it looks better zoomed in. The leaves were a real big pain, but finally they started coming together. I have not done something to this extent in like photorealism in a while. So now like it took like mentally took a little while to get like back into thinking it through. Here's the pencils I used right here from Prismacolor. I limited myself, so it would be a good comparison, to their 72 count. So I pulled out what would work, what was included in the 72 count. And there were times I really wanted a color that was in the 150, but not in the 72. So it was quite a uh, adventure trying to get it done. So now that we can do a good comparison, I have an area over here, you can see I've got my little outline put in. And uh, we're gonna do this now in the Arteza pencils. So we will see side by side exactly how they compare and how they stack up to it. So I'm gonna just kind of cut in and out on this. It's gonna take probably a couple of days for me to get this done. I'm still really slow at this. I wish I was a little faster, but I don't do this often as I, often as I should to be fast. I can make it good, but you know, it's like the whole stool thing. You can have it one or two, but not all three. So you get it good and uh, you can't get it fast. <laughs> it's quality. So there you go. But be hopping in with this, these Artezas and pulling my pencils and I'll see you for my conclusion as to what I think as we do the final evaluation and uh, rate these pencils.
<laughs> this was like a little bit of an adventure doing this piece here. I had a giant Gamsol spill that went all the way across right here. Had to rework some areas because the color shifted. It's still a little shifted from the spill, but it's a lot better. And it's enough that we can do a comparison. That was the biggest thing that I wanted to do is I did the same piece twice so I could really compare these pencils. <laughs> which was a little bit of a folly, I think, to do because it took so long to do this. But I have this fun little piece now to get to see to show the differences. So first thing to compare, I think, is just the color number. I used 21 Prismacolors in that. So here they all are right here. You can see them. The um, I don't have them grouped, but you can kind of see the different colors. The big differences were that I had this indigo blue and the jade green here. Now it's funny because I used jade in the other one, but the other one's jade green is a very, very different color. So these two colors right here helped a ton in the leaves. As well as the reds, having this color, there really was, this guy didn't exist, like a crimson lake did not exist in the other ones so that gave a little bit deeper reds and allowed me, which I'll show you right here, to create a little bit more subtlety in the differences rather than having to use contrast on it. Uh, going a little bit deeper there so you can see a little closer. The other one, they surprised me though. The Artezas were pretty, pretty much able to handle it. Uh, I did increase the contrast a little bit to handle that they, I couldn't get some of the subtleties in the red shades as much. Uh, no matter how much I wanted to work with them, I couldn't show a difference between a crimson and a more of a vermilion-y kind of red with these, whereas I could here, like you can see a big difference between like this area to this and their shades. So that was a little bit of a letdown and not having these two was re made parts of this really hard, especially in the shadowing. Being able to pull in a deep blue to really get some good shadows in here. There wasn't, there is no midnight blue. Like I was like kind of surprised. Let's pull up the, the thing. The closest you have in this one is kind of an ultramarine or a blueberry, which isn't quite right. They do say they have an indigo, but indigo to indigo. See, there you go. See the differences right there. How different. I did limit myself to the 72 count so that it was comparing pretty well. There were a couple of shades I really wish I could have had uh, with them. So what do I think overall? These worked well. Um, they do have a little bit of the creaminess feel that the Prismacolors have, which is good. We'll zoom back out here. I'm gonna go to different sheets right here. So let's compare, compare. I've got my little comparison sheets. You can see the erasability right here. These actually erased a hair better than the Prismacolors, which surprised me a little bit. Then I got to think, I was like, Prismacolor has a line of erasable pencils. If you want erasable pencils, you can get those <laughs> with these with the color erases. So the fact that these erase just a little bit better, pretty good. Uh, blendability with the Artezas, not quite. I, it's a little grainy, and I saw that when I was working over here, even with Gamsol using a blender. I used the same blender pencil, the Personal Color Premier blender with it. Um, it's not quite as smooth um, between them. There's just a little bit of graininess. It's probably hard to see in this. I can try to zoom in for you to see, but I don't know how much the camera's gonna pick it up. Which, if you're coloring a coloring book, it's not gonna be a huge difference if you're wanting to create like a really great piece of art that like you're commissioned or something for, I might, I, I'm, I might lean towards the Prismacolors for their blendability here. Opacity, uh, Prisma, Prismacolor still wins. The Prismacolor white is one of the most opaque, beautiful whites I've ever seen. So there's a big difference on that. Uh, hand fatigue was about the same. So um, not a huge difference there. I would say maybe it leans towards Prismacolor just a teeny bit, but not much for which one's better. Uh, color vibrancy, they are both vibrant. Predictability at this point, I would hope that if you're giving me an artist grade pencil that I can kind of predict by the name what it's gonna be and by the barrel color should be fairly close that I can tell. Uh, overall, one of the things I did notice in the, once I got working, 
is there are some overlaps with color that lead to a couple of holes in color. Like the shamrock green and the turquoise right here in the Arteza, really, really close. I think if you, they could have gone with maybe a true midnight blue. They, I know they got indigo and it's uh, a little bit brighter, but if they'd had that really, really deep blue there or a little bit more of a light sage green, uh, they have a sage. It's really gray. I did use it. It was pretty usable. I, I liked it, but uh, a couple of colors that were like, oh, I don't know exactly how to use this compared to some of the others, <laughs> but all in all, they worked fine. I I was able to create a great work. When you compare the costs, uh, it's a big difference. Because you're looking at right here, 90 cents a pencil for the Prismacolors and only 58 cents a piece for the Artezas. So that is a big difference. If you are looking to just be coloring and coloring books and having some fun with them like that, I would say go with the Artezas just price-wise. I would not necessarily say splurge on the prism colors. Now, if you're wanting to create artwork that uh, is a little more detailed in nature or even larger works, like because I use art sticks now, they've been discontinued. So maybe it's not the good, best thing to compare to, but Prismacolor has other pencils that you can use in conjunction with them with the very thins. That kind. So it makes it a little bit of little different when you're comparing in that world but and knowing that once I did some online these do come in a 120 set I would recommend getting the 120 I always say if you're gonna go in on these things get the most colors because you don't have to try to hunt them down later uh, so do I say buy these yeah I say buy them yeah I wish I had gotten I wish I had seen when I was ordering them that there was a 120 set. It looked like the best ones where it came in a 72. I would have rather had the 120 as well as the weirdness with the order. And it looks like there's a newer version that's out and I didn't get that newer version. So that little bit of a hiccup in the ordering, but all in all, I say it's a goodbye. So that is it for today. I will let you guys see this to finish it. That took way too much work <laughs> for uh but it's good to see it's it'll be good i'm gonna you'll see it on social media as well this picture if you haven't been following me already because i have been posting pictures of this while i've been working on it and uh that's it for today and i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like it's super helpful and everything as well as consider subscribing i am starting to see 10,000 subs in the horizon and i will love to try to reach that by the end of the year. It's a fun goal. So uh, give me a subscribe if you don't mind. I'd greatly appreciate it so that we can reach it there. I am trying to get videos out every two weeks. This one took longer because of doing the art piece here that I did comparing the pencils and uh, but shooting for that. The next one coming out uh, was probably going to be my brute frainers, the 520 pencils. That one could take a little bit longer too, just because there's 520 pencils and I've got to try to swatch 520 pencils. So oh, anyway, <laughs> a lot to do there. So anyway, I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy coloring. Bye.